what's going on guys we at the country club here in sedona got my boy adam vanoy with me like, pastor of gr we about to play some golf out here in the desert who does this in the winter bro you ready yes sir he's gonna shoot 10 strokes over <laughs> Hey, bro, we finna hit this first hole, man. If we finna get it in. What you think, bro? You ready? I'm ready, man. Let's get it. What? Now, let me ask you a question. 4,000 feet. 4,000 feet up in the air. Yes, sir. What's your score going to be? Man, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay, bro, this one's for you, bro. I took you the first time to play golf, and now you're a fiend, bro. You're like, you're crazy with it. You're trying to beat me constantly, bro. Now I'm taking Adam. And I'm trying to get him right. You know what I'm saying? He didn't, He's like, man, golf ain't my thing. Basketball's my thing. And I'm like, you sound like Jay. You sound like Jay. <laughs> Soon you're going to be the golfer extraordinaire. But it's all good. Because ain't nobody beating me yet. <laughs> Hey, we got five holes in. Right. Oh no, four. We're we're on the fifth hole. Right. How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm about ten over already. <laughs> <laughs> so you said I said ten over for the game. You're right. ten over halfway through. Ten over halfway. Oh through. my god. Right, man. Right. Hey, but you know what? Here's the problem, and I can't let Jay know about this. So y'all be quiet about this on YouTube. Don't don't tag Jay. Don't tell him. Don't say nothing to him. But I got the contagious case of the shanks from Adam. Mm. Every time he shanks a ball, now I'm shanking a ball. Y'all don't tell Jay, all right? Be quiet about that. I'm coming for you, Jay. Hey, we're just having a blast out here, man. We're having a good time out here enjoying the beautiful desert, the mountains. Man, it's lovely out here, man. What's going on, everybody? It's Joe Gentle with Trend Trading Academy. I'm here to help you trade and get paid. I can't golf all day long. I got to come back and do some work eventually. I can't stay out in Arizona just doing everything. I got to bring you guys some charts. So for now, I'm going to bring you some stuff that's going to bring you to the whole next level. Forex order of operations. I'm going to show you how to build your confirmation checklist the right way so that you're not missing out on any trades. All right. If this video brings you value, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to become a student and see this entire class, this is a piece. If you want to see the entire class, Go to trendtrading.academy, become a student, and get with us. Let's get this money together. For now, let's get to the charts. Direction matters. Which way the market is moving matters because it shows us who's in control of the market. The same thing. You have other patterns that are continuation patterns. So for an example, if you have a flag pattern, a flag pattern is a continuation pattern. You understand? Boom. That's what we would expect. But do we trade it that way? No. We go to fill the flagpole. The same way we trade to fill the cup, we take it 
to here. We ain't going to just leave our money in all the way, try to take it all the way up there. Why? Because we could get a rejection right there. And if we get a rejection, what does that mean? Does that mean we were wrong? Nah. It means there's a rejected pattern. That happens all the time. Rejected patterns are part of Forex and stocks and crypto and every other thing. Any chart, anything that trades on a chart can have a rejected pattern. So if we think that's a flag pattern, we're only going to trade it to here because structure comes before chart patterns. It's kind of like um, when you're doing math. Anybody ever remember doing math and you had this? Uh, anybody know what this is? Right? Anybody, anybody understand that? You remember that from school? Oh, man, y'all too young. Y'all too young. Imani knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> right? You have to understand this if you're going to do math the act, uh, right. You have to understand that. Why? Because if you try to do the addition before you do the multiplication, you're going to come up with the wrong numbers. You feel me? If you try to do the division before you mess with the parentheses, you're going to have a problem. There's an order of operations that makes math work. It's a universal rule and law that the parentheses have to happen before the division or the subtraction, right? That's the same thing with everything else. Number one, number one, price action. That's number one. Number two, market structure. Number three, candlestick patterns. Number four, chart patterns. You feel me? This is what I'm trying to help you understand. There's an order of operations that has to happen in the market, and you can't just go and see something that's way down the line. I see a head and shoulders, but price action doesn't agree. No, nope, price action trumps chart patterns. Is everybody with me here? Price action is king. Market structure is queen. <laughs> huh? So can you repeat? Yeah. Price action, market structure, candlestick patterns, chart patterns. That's the first four. You with me? Next, divergence. Next, indicators. All of those things put together equals currency strength analysis. I'm going to let y'all write that down for a second. So if that's the case, then I don't care if we see a head and shoulders that looks like it's going to break a neckline, but the candlesticks are throwing me three white soldiers.
Well, that tells me I got a rejection coming. That's not ready to happen yet. Three white soldiers is a bullish price action uh, candlestick pattern, which tells me candlestick patterns are more powerful than chart patterns. Leon Jr. said, is candlestick patterns a part of price action? Yeah, absolutely. Candlestick part, uh, uh, are part of price action. But remember, one candle is price action. One candle is price action. One candle. You have to have one candle before you can have three candles. <laughs> right? So if you have like, um, like you guys know I love my triple R, right? You got, and really, what is that? It's a it's a graveyard doji or or a, or a or a, a, a shooting star or a morning star, right? It's really what it really what it comes down to. Um, so what I'm saying is, before I can have a, a morning star, which you know, which basically pushes up, rejects, and then pushes back down, I got to have this candle first. I can't get this until I have this. Is everybody with me on that? I have to I have to make sure that I have one candle before I have three candles. So price action, if I already have a candle that's showing me an engulfing uh, to the upside, why am I even thinking about a move to the downside? Oh, but the pattern, the pattern, that's fine. But that one candle told me everything I need to know. It tells me that I'm not ready for entry yet. Does that mean that chart pattern is wrong? No. It just means it ain't time yet. You got to get these things in agreement with each other. You got to get these things in agreement. Push up with one candle. I'm expecting a down move. But I get a... But I get a uh, uh, a um, what do you call a bullish engulfing? Well, I I can't take a a sell off of a bullish engulfing that has no wick. How am I going to take a sell off of that? I got to wait till I get confirmation of that breakout. That could be a retest, but price action right there in and of itself with one candle is telling me it's not time for entry. Now, once that next one comes. And it gives me that it gives me that rejection. Now, boom. Now I got something. Now, guess what? Price action came first. Market structure now agrees. My candlestick pattern is showing me an entry pattern. Now, is this happening at the neckline of a head and shoulders? If all of that is happening at the neckline of a head and shoulders, I went through my orders of operation. Price action, yes. Market structure, yes. Candlestick pattern, yes. Chart pattern, yes. Next thing you could do, pull out your RSI. Am I showing divergence? Yes. Right? Start looking at that. Throw a moving average on there. Is moving average, is the 50 in the right spot? Yes. These are all confirmations. You're going through your orders of operation. All right, guys, there you have it. You see, all we have to do, because there's, there's patterns, there's rejected patterns, there's all kinds of things that happen in the market. We Just because you see something doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen the way you understand it to happen because... There's a level to this. There's an order to this. And you got to have your price action. Got to have your market structure. You got to have all that stuff down before you can just say, when this indicator crosses this indicator, that's it. Get in. Nah, I mean, that's that's good. That's a trigger. But you have to understand that there's a Forex order of operations, the things that have to come before that to make sure that what you're seeing is accurate. And I hope this video brought you value. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Become a student at trendtrading.academy. Get your TGP merch at tradinggetpaid.com. And if you want to pair this with a way that you can grow your account the right way, understanding risk management and now understanding forex order of operations, 
powerful. Watch this video over here, and I want you to learn how you can grow your account the right way. I'll see you next time.